Hello, we are home from work. It's day two of three, and per usual, I'm starving and have to pee. I'm gonna do that, and then we'll catch up. Today was a pretty good day. I had three patients discharged one, and then admitted a picky transfer in the, like the last 30 minutes of my shift, but I luckily was actually prepared today, planned ahead, and had like all my charting done so that I could just like transfer the patient. Honestly, it worked out really well. I thought I would film a little pre and post shift routine for you guys because I basically have to prepare tonight for the shift tomorrow. So that's the pre shift part. And then I'm gonna be filming obviously how I unwind from tonight. What I also do tomorrow night because I feel like they're two very different things. Tonight is all about the prep for tomorrow. And then tomorrow is all about the prep for the weekend of returning to normal life. So I feel like that's just kind of how I operate. First things first, I went to the bathroom. I'm gonna change out of my scrubs because I cannot sit on my couch in my dirty clothes So I'm gonna go change we're gonna eat and then we're gonna shower Usually how it goes in my stretches is that I don't like to wash my hair until like sorry It's very dark in here usually how it goes is that I don't like to wash my hair until the end of the stretch But I just feel like my hair is really dirty and I wanted to shower So I'm going to and then we're just gonna blow dry it with my favorite leaf and blow dryer I just want clean hair and I have a really busy fun weekend to plan because I'm going wedding dress shopping with my old college roommate T1 I'm very excited and I have like a bunch of my friends who are gonna be in town and I'm hosting everyone at my apartment I will be spending a lot of tomorrow cleaning the apartment and I've already like started doing laundry and things like that to prepare but there's always so much to do when you're hosting okay cue the outfit change I'm done with the scrubs pajamas on I'm feeling comfy we're lighting a candle over here I need to tidy up from earlier this morning when I made a mess of the kitchen Luckily, I have the most amazing thing to have for dinner. I got pasta takeout last night. So, we're gonna have our reheated noodles. We got some bolognese here, which is gonna be utterly delicious. So we'll heat this bad boy. I got so much food at the restaurant last night that I literally couldn't even finish my main dish. But I've been thinking about this bolognese all day. There's just nothing like coming home to leftovers after a 12 hour shift, I'm telling you. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna tidy up my dishes here so that I can just keep everything clean. My goal is to run this dishwasher tomorrow morning right as I leave to work so I can come home to a clean dishwasher to unload because it's really like the silverware that I'm running out of right now. And if you are hosting a party, you cannot be running out of the silverware. I will be unpacking and repacking my lunch. These are all things I do to make my life just a smidge easier in the mornings. We're gonna repack this. And the great part about working a stretch is that you can kind of just carry on whatever you didn't eat from one day onto the next. Like I only had one cookie today, so now I'm just gonna add one more. And that way, if I want to, they're available. But I don't have to worry about, you know, wasting food or anything. I'm obsessed with these pumpkin Jojo's, the sandwich cookie ones that are like covered in a yogurt coating. They're so delicious. You should definitely try them. I need a salty snack for tomorrow. I don't have like a ton of chips. My chips are way up high. This is gonna be some dedication. Salt and your chips. We're gonna do a factor meal, a little sun-dried tomato chicken with zucchini noodles for tomorrow. My lunch is packed, which is great. My dinner is done. <gasps> this literally looks and smells so incredible. Okay, you know what we're doing. We're watching Parenthood while we eat because there's only so much talking that we can do in a day. We need like some time just to sit and watch something casual. I got this new blanket as a treat to myself and let me tell you, it's one of my top purchases. You guys, it's officially nine o'clock. My hour of unwind time is now up. So I'm gonna go and take a shower. I finished watching my one show Parenthood, had dinner, did the dishes, checked my emails, replied to all my texts throughout the day. Now we must get up. I'm gonna be my own parent. One, two, three. <laughs> It is officially time.
time to blow dry the hair. I only have 30 minutes until I want to be in my bed asleep, which isn't a lot of time for all the other like little things that I wanted to do. However, it's all gonna get done because I have my Lay-Fins blow dryer, which blow dries my hair so quickly. I have been obsessed with this blow dryer for two years. I actually found this blow dryer, got it for my mom for Christmas. She became obsessed with it. Then I became obsessed with it. Used to go over to my parents' house to blow dry my hair and use this blow dryer. And then I finally got my own for Christmas. And now I get to work with this amazing company. I used to never blow dry my hair and just sleep on it wet, which is not good for your hair. But I really enjoy how quick it is to blow dry my hair. We're gonna get it done. I'm gonna make sure I have all the tangles out from my hair first. And I'm gonna put a little bit of product in it. The other great thing about this blow dryer is that it helps protect your hair because there's four different heat cycles. They have hot, warm, cold, and then they have a heat cycling that will go through all the temperatures so that you're not damaging your hair. This thing is very powerful. It just blows off anything. Okay, cue the blow drying. Let's do this. Okay guys, my hair is done. It looks so shiny and smooth. That time it took me seven minutes because I like used my roller brush, which sometimes I do. And I just love that this blow dryer literally costs a fraction of what other like huge name blow dryers that do the same thing costs. If you guys are in the market for a new blow dryer or have a friend or need a good gift idea, I'm telling you guys, my mom will not shut up about how grateful she is for this gift. And I say the same to her because I love mine. I'm gonna leave a link in my description box so you guys can shop the link and blow dryer. It's a great gift. It's a great treat yourself item. Thank you again to Layfin for sponsoring this video. I love working with you guys. I was so excited when I saw you in my inbox. Just like that, you guys. We're ready for bed. Actually, we need to brush our teeth. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get to bed actually a smidge early. Enjoy my relaxing evening and get the sleep that we need. We'll do it. Friends, you're gonna have to scoot over. All right, you guys, see you tomorrow. sleep super great. I had bad nurse dreams. I think what happened is that at some point I like knocked my phone over or pulled like my charging cable and it crashed my large phone onto the ground and it woke me up and then I tried to go back to sleep and I just had the weirdest dreams ever. I had nightmares that I messed up this kid's chemo. I had weird dreams that my childhood friends were pregnant, that I was invited to a party that I was so socially awkward at. Like just, you know, the weirdest dreams. I feel like I woke up in a slightly like meh mood. I'm just sitting here watching Parenthood because it's bringing me comfort and joy. I typically get ready literally in my bed. Like I get dressed. Everything's here. My clothes are right there. So I legitimately like do not get out of bed until about 6.20 and that is when I like do my hair, brush my teeth, grab my stuff and just walk out the door. It's a very last minute sort of operation but that is just my routine and how I do it. I probably could wake up at like 6 a.m. instead of 5.30 but I like to be able to like eat without being stressed I've found is the best way for me to actually get breakfast before I go to work which I think is really important because if I don't have tea drink some water have breakfast I don't know when my first break will be or my first opportunity would be to eat I always try to eat before I go to work we wouldn't want to like pass out in a patient's room I feel like that wouldn't be very demure it wouldn't be very mindful oh that's my alarm I set like a bajillion just in case last day of the stretch we can do one day one day of any Anything. I'm on my favorite episode of Parenthood. I can't spoil it, but it's just the best one. But I'm forcing myself to pause it and save it for after work because I really do want to get 
all of these dishes and stuff done. So we are gonna load the dishwasher. We're pretty much all ready. I always have like extra buffer time, so I'm never like actually late, which is good. Even if I'm like a few minutes behind. I hate when my dishwasher is not all the way at full. It feels wrong to run it, but I will run out of forks if I don't run it. Today I'm wearing a cute set from Fabletics. A little Patagonia vest. AirPods in one pocket, pen in the other. I already filled up my water bottle. Badge on. Today I'm actually precepting. So that will be kind of like a nice little switch up. I've never met the gal that I'm precepting, but she has nursing experience, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Just mostly like a refresher of our policies. I like to be like a fun preceptor and talk about some of the more exciting things that we have going on on our floor too. And just like that, it is already 6.31. So let's get out of here. inside of me in a world I don't want to say just the same damn thing what's your high what's your age what's the price of your way I just got to work there was a lot of traffic getting in because I was stuck behind the bus which just shows that me leaving like a couple minutes late sometimes can just be a whole different traffic situation because that's like perfectly where the majority of the nurses will also be pulling into all the lots we made it on time I've got two minutes to chill my car I'll talk to you guys afterwards I'm literally starving, so we're getting this. Yeah. Just took my patient to radiation. Now I'm waiting for the slow elevators. And we'll go back to the floor. I discharged the patient, so now I'm down to two. I have one more chemo to finish, and then <laughs> my hair looks like a mess. This is what happens taking the chemo gown on and off. The look. I ended up not precepting today, so it's just me. Oh, here's my elevator. Lego. All the good stuff's body and soul. Quiet life of desperation. But it ain't gonna make me too much longer. Been working too hard for this shit to now pass. So we about to get it popping now. Quiet life of desperation. So I'm gonna have to live a little louder. And no, I ain't gonna end up like the man trying to figure out. Had to do a dressing change at shift change, but I got this cute little alien for my favorite patient, so it was a good day. You guys, we are off our shifts. Like I showed you, I got this cute little alien dude from one of my favorite patients. I feel like it's so important to save like all these cute little memories and things, and I'm gonna put his name and the date that I got this because then I can save it, and one day I'll look through my memory box and I'll remember this day and, you know, a cute little memory of him. 9 20 24. Today overall was a really good day. I started off my shift like incredibly busy and then as the shift went on and I like discharged my patients and caught up on things it started to get a little bit better so I love shifts like that because like as you get more tired it gets better and then I can just help people out and then of course like what typically happens is sometimes your patient just rips off their port dressing and shift change and so you just have to wait to give report. That's what happened. We got a nice clean dress on there which is what matters and now I'm gonna drive to my friend Julia's house because I'm gonna borrow her air mattress for the weekend in case sleepover hosting parties need some more like beds I'm gonna go drive straight from work so we can be productive and then I also really have to pee and then we're gonna have dinner and we're gonna work on like cleaning our apartment to get some of that stuff crossed off our list and then we'll feel better tomorrow because I won't really have a lot of time to clean since we start dress shopping tomorrow at like 9 a.m. So it's gonna be a fast turnaround. Okay, I always love to play Leave In by Jesse McCartney when it's the last of my stretch. So that's what we're gonna play. Let's go home. Oh, ain't got no options and I got home got home. I picked up my air mattress from my friend's house and now I literally have 30 minutes to get my apartment in a decent spot because my friend is actually spending the night tonight. So <laughs> I was not fully prepared for this, <laughs> but we're going to make it happen. We're going to do world's speediest tidy. Luckily my bed is made. It's like relatively clean in here. So I'm just going to take out the trash and recycling and you know, put some junk away so it looks a little bit nicer. She's like my best friend, so she doesn't really care. You know, I have to keep telling myself that, but we're just gonna kind of like spice everything up and like 
put some stuff away. Cue the speed, get ready. I actually ended up ordering myself some takeout. This is, you know, last day of the stretch. I don't know, I had some, some heavy talks with my nurse friend. My friend Julia, who I borrowed the air mattress from, she's also a nurse. Even though we work in very different fields of nursing, we have a lot of similarities in our patient stories. It's kind of crazy. So we were kind of bonding over that and processing it. And then I called a coworker who I also worked with and also had a nurse rant about that. And I just have to say, you have to find those people in your life who you're able to do that with because it's just truly so important. So I'm really grateful for them to be able to have some of those conversations. It makes all the difference and it's important. So I'm gonna check the mail. I don't know what this is, something insurance-y. Your home policy renewal. I don't even have a home. Is this for my, oh, it's my renter's insurance. What does this do? End of October. Okay, okay. Gotta keep that insurance rolling. $182, geez, that has gone up. Doing well, we're doing well. Speed clean, putting vlog cam away. We're gonna take out the trash. Okay, we are PJ ready. You guys, look at this food. <gasps> the sauce is just incredible. It's so to die for good. I'm literally, I can taste it. We have a candle lit in the background. The apartment is clean. Katie is on her way. Life is good. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna end this video because I probably have way too many clips, but thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on what it's like 24 hours as a nurse, unwinding, getting ready, prepping. It feels good to finish a stretch. Now I get to have some fun with my friends. All the hard work has paid off. I love you guys so much. Today's question of the day is gonna be, what meal do you crave when you get off work and you're so tired and so hungry? This is what I crave, this teriyaki chicken with the veggies and the salad. It's so delish. Thank you again to Leifin for sponsoring this video. You guys can click the link in my description box to get my favorite blow dryer ever. It's seriously the best. That's all I have for you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna have to live a little louder. No, I ain't gone and I'm like the man trying to figure out the man who gotta figure it out. Just buy me a new condo. Same, yeah, I'm back home. Guess the 20s ain't as friendly as a place where you were born.